So Seminole County officials confirming Lake Monroe has finally crested. Leaders say the lake peaked at a historic 8.9 feet, flooding out homes, businesses, and even threatened to creep into this hospital on West Seminole Boulevard. FEMA and the National Guard had to build a makeshift dam to try to keep water from getting inside. Officials say the hospital never had to close as a result of all that flooding. News 6 Troy Campbell is live in Sanford for us tonight, which saw its fair share of flooding from Lake Monroe. Troy, what are you seeing? Yeah, so most places around Central Florida in the main streets, the flooding um, has receded. However, take a look here in Sanford. We're standing by the uh, City Hall, Sanford City Hall, and that building right there is the Seminole County uh, Courthouse with all the waters completely flooded, flooded in front tonight. The Sanford City Council, they voted to approve the emergency declaration issued by the city manager last week. For instance, we needed to have a curfew or we needed to look at how we could restrict actions to help safeguard the public. Sanford City Manager Norton Bonaparte telling us the Sanford City Commission is required by law to approve his emergency order related to Hurricane Ian every seven days. Norton says the declaration should also make it easier for homeowners to receive help from FEMA. Well, the water has stopped rising, which is a beautiful thing, but now we're going to wait for the waters actually now to go down and then we can determine how much we've lost. Adventurous, bro. Tanya Crowley lives along Missouri Drive where floodwaters are still high enough that the only way for people to reach the area is by boat. They have to bring their groceries or anything else, but you see them coming down with bags of garbage because we have the two dumpsters now because the garbage trucks can't get down there. The recycling trucks can't get down there. Nobody can get through. Sanford City Commissioner Sheena Britton says she's proud her community is working together. You hate that it takes something like this to bring people together, but it does work. It shows that we are a team. And not only do these waters pose a threat because of raw sewage, but there have also been sightings this evening of alligators, and we've had residents um, warn us as well of water moccasins. This is only about a block, block and a half uh, from Lake Monroe that we were just explaining had uh, the record amount of flooding. At this point, it's still unclear if uh, the city of Sanford will extend their emergency declaration again next week. Live in Sanford, Troy Campbell, Getting Results, News 6.